Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out Pink Gorilla. It's a used video game shop in Seattle. There are like three or four of them. Somehow the city maintains a, a chain of franchises for these things. Um, they're gonna have a booth at the show floor, uh, but this store is pretty small and apparently it has not been ransacked for the show. So we're gonna hop in a cab and go check it out. Might find some uh, CDI games for Jeff Gersman, if he's lucky. And uh, maybe I'll find some Japanese games for myself, if I'm lucky. This is the store right here. <laughs> I don't know how to get inside this place. Hey, how's it going? Are you calling? I am indeed. Hi, hey, I'm Peter. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, yeah. Uh, so thanks for letting us film. It's gonna no problem. roam around for a bit, I guess. Oh yeah, certainly. Cool, thanks. <laughs> What am I looking for? Man, I'm looking for pretty much anything. Genesis games, Saturn games, PlayStation games, you name it. Nintendo, anything. They got a pretty good selection of Japanese stuff here though. Let me ask you this, do you guys have any CDI games on hand? CDI. I got a special request from a friend. <laughs> the sad thing about Genesis games, wherever you go, it's, o it's almost always all sports titles. <laughs> it's always all sports titles and like Jungle Strike and Desert Strike. That's and all of those. Survived. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else got snatched up. Basically. I go to flea markets now every weekend and it's it's not Desolate. good. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty rough. This is the good stuff, but the problem is when you collect a lot of games, you tend to have most of them. I don't have that though. What is it? Oh. Uh, this is Ninja Gaiden 2? Where did it go? Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 2 over here. I also have a bunch of Famicom, which is the Japanese Nintendo. A bunch of those games over here as well. Like this is the Japanese duck hunt. It actually has the art from the game on there. And the one weird thing about Famicom cartridges is they all come in different shapes, depending on the publisher. So like Bandai will make really big ones like this. Um, this other company, uh, Eram, will have like a little red light on them because the Famicom didn't have a power light. So they installed that on there. So when you turned it on, you could actually know that your system was. I mean, not that you couldn't see it on the TV already, but. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and this is a weird one by Konami. They don't usually make them this big. I don't even know what this game is. You ever played this before? Gunsight? Never even heard of it. I'm a big Konami fan. I have no idea what that is. Oh, the Densha de Go controller. <laughs> so that's a controller for a train simulator, and it goes through a lot of the, like the stations that people you know commonly visit. Yeah, and it's like really strict on the whole like you know if you go like a foot past the stop. It's like, eh, you failed. <laughs> it's really specific. <laughs> What's like the most popular? Right now, I think the biggest thing is just uh, Nintendo 64 uh, games, accessories, and consoles. <laughs> really? Like, I don't think we've had a Nintendo 64 controller or console in for a couple of weeks now. Hmm. They just show up on shelves and get bought up by college kids who are moving to their dorm for the first time and have that little dose of nostalgia that they want to fill. Yeah, I mean, and plus, you guys have good prices, too. That's yeah, we try and keep our prices competitive with uh, what you normally play. Like, uh, we're gamers, too, so we don't want to be just trying to screw people out of all their money. And how many locations are there? About three uh, there or four? There are four now. Uh, uh, we have this one, the International District, the original one, then our University District, West Seattle, and also uh, our newest Bellevue store. These yeah, days. we're just a small enough thing that we can kind of be the anti-GameStop. What okay, games you got? Uh, let's see, I got Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. It's a strategy game from, uh, I believe, HAL Laboratories. They're the guys who make Kirby, one of Nintendo's publishers. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, everyone loves that shit. And uh, Mega Drive game, Wonder Boy 3, Monster Lair. It's a side-scrolling action uh, game that's, well, pretty fun. But the best thing here is just kind of seeing a store like this actually surviving, and the fact that there's three more of this in the city, and they're so popular that they have enough inventory to bring to a show floor for a booth, but still keep their stores open is really impressive. Um, used video games, old video games have become like really popular to collect now. It's really competitive and people are charging a lot of money. Pink Gorilla is charging a fair price. So I wish we had something like this in San Francisco and I'm really jealous that Seattle does. So yeah, these probably won't be the last games I buy because I'm probably gonna go to those other stores and definitely to their booth at PAX. Mm -hmm.